Hello and welcome. It is Master Butterfree back again with another Pokemon Online battle. Today we have a battle against a guy by the name of Max Power 891. Sorry for not uploading again. Like recently I've been kind of bad about uploading, but hopefully I can get back on track. And yeah, here we go with this battle. I lead off with Lampent, which I'm supposed to lead off with Mill Tank, but I forgot to kind of switch it into the first spot on my team. So I go ahead and just go with Lampent. Use the Will-O-Wisp as he goes for the Dragon Dance. So he's burnt. And eventually he's just going to get worn down by that burn damage. He goes for Outrage. I live it and hit him with Shadow Ball. And just stay in to fodder off Lampent. Because I really didn't need Lampent for much in this battle. It wasn't It's not really a very important part of my team. It's just kind of there because it's just like the fire pokemon for my team this is kind of like a fire grass water core but anyways i go into my basculin and he's now confused and he goes for another outrage i live it and go for the waterfall i was thinking about going for the aqua jet at first which i ended up switching at the last second but that's okay because now i'm locked into waterfall he switches into his blaziken and i take it out in one shot he goes for his Electrive, which at first I saw as kind of a threat, but it turns out I can take it out with one hit from a Waterfall, and I outspeed it, so mm, that takes that out, and I don't have to worry about that thing anymore. He switches into his Gengar, which does outspeed me, hits me with the Psychic, and by the way, sorry if there's a little thing at the bottom right-hand corner, it's just a stupid canine thing that my parents have on my computer, and that flashes up sometimes at random times. And it just happened to in this battle. I've been trying to avoid it happening, but oh well. I switch into Miltank as he goes for a Focus Blast the next turn and does quite a bit of damage. I set up Stealth Rocks and then just switch out to my Pinocchio, my Shiftry, which gets taken out in one shot by a Focus Blast. But oh well, I kind of disappointing at the time because I figured Shiftry can do some big damage if it didn't die from that Focus Blast, but it did, and that was quite unfortunate, but I switched into Glaceon, take a Focus Blast, hit him with the Ice Beam, and that Gengar is now out of there, and I don't have to worry about it any longer. He switches into his Ursa Ring, who goes for a Sword Stance, and I just hit it with an Ice Beam to take it out right away. I'm, I was kind of surprised that he didn't go for just an attacking move, figuring that, I mean, I figured he probably should have known that an Ice Beam is going to take him out, but oh well, I'm happy that he didn't. And his last Pokemon comes out, which is Tyranitar. He starts up a Sandstorm, hits me with Earthquake to take out my Glaceon, and I go into Miltank, and this is where the battle kind of starts slowing down and getting kind of boring because I basically just stall him out here because I go for Milk Drink and just keep spamming Milk Drink as he hit, tries to hit me with Super Power. He's lowering his defense and his attack power every time, and I'm able to just take advantage of that, and once his defense is down a few stages, hit him with a body slam, do some good amount of damage, and that's about it. That's pretty much how this battle goes. I hit him with a body slam and paralyze him, and then he just keeps going for superpower, which is progressively getting weaker and weaker, and so, and so is his defense, so I'll be able to hit him with a big body slam if he keeps going for superpower. And eventually he does forfeit, which I was trying to avoid uploading a battle where somebody forfeits, but it's kind of hard to avoid battles where people forfeit on Pokemon Online, because a lot of people do it, instead of just letting the battle play out. But at least this battle was coming to a close, and I know I could have won anyways, because literally there was pretty much nothing he could do at that point, because none of his moves were going to damage me, considering he was at, like, something around minus four minus five attack and defense so i'm fine with the fact that he forfeit i hope you guys don't mind if you enjoyed leave a like favorite comment and subscribe also check out my first episode of my new let's play that i uploaded today i had fun making it i mean it was the opening chapter so it was a bit boring because it's pokemon mystery dungeon and the opening chapter is just boring but it will pick up and will be more fun soon. I really enjoyed it. Hope you guys check it out, and peace. Hello and welcome. It is Master Butterfree back again with another Pokemon Online battle. 
Today we have a battle against a guy by the name of Max Power 891. Sorry for not uploading.